overflows existence a unique happening existence has allowed enlightenment in so many different ways to people existence never repeats anything all that we can see is that certain qualities not very particular methods are needed but certain qualities when they come to meet within you function not as a cause but something happens because of their presence this is what in science is called a catalytic agent they function as a catalytic agent remember certain qualities when they come within you but something happens because of their presence for example you know that water is made with hydrogen and oxygen but you can go on mixing oxygen and hydrogen and water will not be made if you divide water you will find only hydrogen and water then what is missing why even when mixing them in the proper proportion water is still not happening for that the presence of electricity is needed it does not cause it it is a totally different phenomenon that casualty it is a totally different phenomena than casualty however its presence is a catalytic agent without its presence oxygen and hydrogen can remain together for eternity but water will not happen so the presence of the catalytic agent is very important in the process of transformation when it comes to the process of transformation of human consciousness the presence the subtle presence the subjective presence of the awakened one acts as a catalytic agent and then in that presence he is not an active part that presence does not do anything active but the presence alone creates an environment for something to happen to you this is what happens when an individual faces the symptoms of psychosomatic medical science cannot capture the symptoms these symptoms as diagnosis but there are the person feels the the complaint but the tests do not show any positive result that time it is of a different nature then the subtle presence acts as a catalytic agent for something to happen a process to begin and in that process change begins to happen so when you see the silver lines in the black cloud it is not just for the painters and people who understand beauty and are sensitive to aesthetic values that silver line is nothing but the presence of electricity that transforms hydrogen and oxygen into water but scientists were surprised in the beginning because it does not take any part just its presence is needed but without its presence nothing happen so too when you plant a plant or seed you prepare the bed with soil in it experiments have been done 
that plant does not consume even an iota, a smallest particle of dust, and the volume remains the the weight remains the same, the volume remains the same, but the soil acts as a catalytic agent to absorb the nutrients when mixed with the water and the plant through its capillary system absorbs the nutrition for its growth. So too the presence of an awakened one in any form acts as a catalytic agent and you absorb the energy that is cosmic energy for the process of transformation to begin. In the same way, you absorb that energy as a, in the presence of that catalytic agent for those problems which are of psychosomatic in nature are cured. So when we say to you that enlightenment is always an accident, not an effect produced by a certain cause, otherwise things would have been very easy. Everybody could have produced the cause, all the necessary ingredients that would have become and would have become enlightened. If the lotus posture is needed, he will do it. If it's standing on head is needed, he will do it. If sitting under the Bodhi tree is needed, he will do it. Anyways, if other men have been able to do it, you can. But the problem is that it is not a cause and effect phenomenon. So I can describe only a, a certain presence which functions as a catalytic agent. Meditation creates that catalytic agent, creates a totally silent mind with no thought, a totally relaxed body with no tensions, a totally empty heart with no moods or feelings or sentiments or emotions and then simply wait. So when you are asked to do a particular act, it is because on your own you are not able to get into the state of meditativeness. So you are asked to do something and when you are doing, you enter into the state of thoughtlessness, the body is totally relaxed, no tensions and totally empty heart with no moods or feelings, no sentiments. In this silence, in this serenity, just wait and then out of nowhere something explodes in you. Yes, it is an explosion. Indeed, explosion of light, love, transcendence. Indeed, it is an explosion. Indeed, explosion of light, love and tremendous bliss which remains with you forever. You cannot lose it even if you want. Nobody can become unenlightened again. That is not possible. Whether embodied or unembodied, the enlightenment, enlightenment, the enlightened one has dissolved in the existence. Whether embodied or unembodied, the enlightenment 
has dissolved in existence like the drop merging into the ocean. There are two things, it can be embodied or unembodied. The enlightened one has dissolved in the existence just like a drop merging into the ocean and then ocean lends its magnanimity, its splendor and cosmic oneness to the enlightened one. The indomitable energy that enlightenment brings acts as a catalytic agent in the process of enlightenment. The indomitable energy that enlightenment brings acts as a catalytic agent in the process of enlightenment. The mere presence clears the path for inward journey. Buddha represents the highest peak of consciousness Buddha is the experiments in the totality of consciousness. Buddha represents the fruition of one's being or blossoming as enlightenment. Buddha represents a totally different kind of spirituality, a totally different kind of spirituality, pure and sublime. Buddha is the most godless yet most godly being ever walked on the earth. Buddha propounded the religionless religion. Never before this happened that someone spoke of human transformation in such a profound yet uncontaminated way. Over the years, each time when the message of Buddhas overflowed, the need was there to preserve the message in as many forms as may be possible, but it never happened as time was not right. The Buddha being the energy field that the enlightened one has created shall continue to act as a catalytic agent in the process of transformation of human consciousness beyond time and space. Enough for now.